CPM is an old operating system from the 70s by Digital Research. It preceded DOS by quite a few years and is so old that I never saw it running in the past on any computer. Rather than just diving in, I decided to watch a couple of videos about it on YouTube. Spectrum Next Stuff has a video about installing it on the Spectrum Next. In his video he showed how to add the necessary files to the next SD card using an Apple Mac. But when I came to look at my SD card, the files were already there. So maybe it didn't come on the issue 1 next, but was included on the issue 2. There is a readme file which explains the CPM commands are imported on first use, and also how to upgrade to the latest version. Looking at CPM on the web, there were a number of CPM games in existence, with 23 games showing on the Wikipedia page about it. They included Space Invaders clones and the old classic Lunar Lander. The Aliens or Text Only Space Invader clone was made up of only letters and punctuation marks. Movie Games lists 58 games, and if you hunt a bit more you can find pages about specific games like Breakout. Games were not just programmed in machine code and basic, but also on GitHub there were games programmed for CPM in Pascal, this game Evasion being written in Turbo Pascal. But for my experiment I thought I would try to get some CPM basic programs running on the next. I found a selection of basic games and put them on my next SD card. I started at my next and selected the CPM option. So first of all it mounts drive for CPM. And then goes into the green and black entry screen, importing each of the um, operating system commands one by one. So there's quite a few, maybe 20 or 30. And it's doing all these fine. So then press first to edit to ZXOS and then go back to the CPM option and you're into the A drive. So what can you see on the air drive? Well, you can see all the different commands that it's just imported. Um, there are no other files. That, these are all .com files. So then having a look to see if there is maybe a C drive in existence. And no, there isn't. Or a B drive. There isn't one of those either. So then trying the help command. You've got help on all the different commands there. So you can type in one of those. So I tried the get command. So it gives a whole bunch of information about the get command, which you can read through, or any of the commands. And then going back to A. typed in dir star dot bass to see if I could see the basic files that I've added to my SD card back on. So then going to retro box rooms video, I found that there was a command um, which is used to create a V drive. So MK data and then a path with the dash B um, being for the drive letter that you want. So typing in that command, using the next command line option. I'm not sure what the .p3d is for, but that's what you have to do. Find space, format the image, erases any temp files, which there won't be any, I don't think, and then it's back to the flashing cursor prompt. So then if I reboot and go back into the menu and go back to the CPM option, you can see if I try and switch to B, that is now there. 
Um, it's empty. Yeah, I can do a DIR and there's nothing on it. Um, so trying to import my basic files that I've got off the web. Um, you seem to need to do import for pretty much anything that you want to use. Um, so targeting the folder that I've put them in and just getting .bass files, it imports them. And then I, I did, with a DIR, I can see that they are now on the B drive. So very hopefully I typed basic to see if, see if there was a basic compiler included, but there isn't. So a few attempts at that. So then just seeing if I could just run battle.bass, which I couldn't. So it seemed that what I needed to do was put a version of basic onto my CPM installation. So I found one called Nevada basic and imported Nevada basic into my CPM installation. So first of all, I had to put this onto my SD card. And then NV star dot star should import all the different files for Nevada Basic, which is done. And I put them onto the B drive. And then I can, running that command, I can then go into Nevada Basic. It's asking me whether I want to delete matrix operations, which I had no idea what that meant. I said no. And then I tried to run gunner.bass, which failed. Um, so a bit more Googling on the on the internet, I realized I had to use a load command. So load speech marks battle.bass, it didn't like. I'll try it again from the B drive and this time it has loaded the program so I can see it listed um, but then there's a whole bunch of weird characters going on at the top I had no idea what was going on um, so then I just tried running it and it, that failed it just showed me the listing again and it does look like basic so it really doesn't look too difficult, a bunch of print statements and rem statements, the stuff that you'd expect. Um, so then I thought I would try a different um, program. So this time trying orbit.bass. Sounds like a familiar game and, and then I got a line number error. So it won't load that one either. And I couldn't run it. So it seemed that the basic files that I'd downloaded were not Nevada basic dialect. Or possibly the CPM version was incorrect, I'm not sure. So then as a final attempt to get something running, I typed in uh, a print hello world or print hi uh, program as you would do back in the old days and then 20 go to 10 and uh, I'd run that just to see something running and it worked so that's as far as I got with CPM on the next a fun couple of hours playing and thanks for watching